Greetings, Art World, we are the unknown artists, Rebuild a Dream, and Move On.org are planning an event titled, All In For The 99% at the Ace Museum in Los Angeles. The following is a KPCC News Podcast with Mark Lactor, talking about Bruce Karatz, one of the men, who sits on the board at Ace Museum. Uh, what's the latest on the Bruce Karatz indictment? You know, this is the former chief executive of the uh, L.A. home builder KB Home. Uh, last week, he was charged with conspiring to defraud the company and shareholders uh, through a scheme to backdate stock options. Now, backdating is when you get to reprice your options by going back to when the stock price was at a very low level. This turned out to be very lucrative when uh, KB's stock price kept going up, thanks, of course, to the home building boom. Mm -hmm. Uh, just think of it as a variation of buying low and selling high, except according to the indictment, uh, Carrots didn't tell anyone what he was doing, which is illegal. Uh, he should have told certainly... the board. Uh, yes, right. Uh, he certainly was not the only executive to have benefited from backdating. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, the Wall Street Journal identified more than 100 companies where the practice was going on, uh, including a bunch from uh, Southern California. Mark, we should note though, that a lot of people thought the whole backdating scandal was much ado about not much. That's right. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Carrots' attorney last week said uh, federal prosecutors are wasting their time on this case when they should be focusing on uh, issues related to the economy. He also said Carrots uh, didn't do anything wrong. You know, the thing is, this case is precisely what went wrong with the financial system. Uh, the view that it was okay for CEOs to kind of stack the decks in their favor so that they could take home that much more money. And by the way, Carrots made more than $232 million in compensation. Uh, over the, the final three years as a CEO before he was forced out of the company. You know, when your stock price becomes the one and only priority, and we've talked about this before, decisions are sometimes made that uh, really aren't in the best interest of the company. All right, Mark, thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve. Mark Lachter is a contributing writer to Los Angeles Magazine and writes a business blog at laobserved.com. He joins us every Tuesday morning here on 89.3 KPCC. We have asked Rebuild the Dream and Move On.org to move their event or to allow the unknown artist to display an infographic that we would provide at the event that explicitly exposes the economic crimes of the board of the Ace Museum. People who attend this event will think that the Ace Museum stands with the 99% when it is an institution run by convicted felons and men who routinely rip off artists. Rebuild the Dream and Move On.org believe this is okay because they are paying the money you've donated to them to rent the Ace Museum. We think this is a terrible mistake for an organization, purporting to represent the 99%. Please stand with us, and tell, Rebuild the Dream, and Move On.org, if they are going to claim to represent the 99%, they need to actually stand up for the 99%, and not work with the very people, who are hurting us. Please sign our petition at Change.org. We are the unknown artists. We expose economic interests, we increase transparency. We aim for the distribution of wealth and information. We will not be censored. We will not be stopped. Fuck authorship, fix the system, 